All right, welcome back. We're doing another draft. There's two Jaces in this pack. Hashtag two Jaces. There's also a Mana Vault and a Vampiric Tutor. Bobby has things to tell you. Always. Wally is very chatty. He's a, he's a chatty gentleman. I'm going to take Mana Vault here. It's a, it's a banger. Man, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Remember the days when that guy was just the best there ever was? Better than all, you might say. Better than all. Here's a Gruff's Triplet. I'm, I, we're, we're taking Hull Breacher this time. Hull Breacher is not a reasonable magic card. Gruff's tri Gruff Triplets, man. Doing some... Doing the Lord's work. That guy busted my ass t in two different matches last time. Oh, Echo of Eons. Following a Hull Breacher. I do want to play with new cards. And there's Demonic Tutor. Oh, boy. This card's cool. I'm adding this to my cube. He's replacing Gonti currently. Ogre Rogue Detective. Totally normal creature type. I think it's Demonic Tutor. No, we don't have black. God, do I just take the Echo of Eons? Jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Gruff triplets are in my cube, right? Let me... Yes, I have Gruff, Kogla, and Primeval Titan in the sixth slot. I think it's got to be Echo when we just took Hull Breacher. I'm, I, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. There's also an Emrakul. Hmm, that's a, that's a creature. That's a, that's a beautiful lady. Um... Harvester of Misery, also a creature. We're going to take the Emrakul because we're in a, a good position to start picking up red cards like Wheel of Fortune or um, Sneak Attack or Through the Breach. There's a Sahili. There's a Prof's Eididic Memory. Tentacle are, tentacles are always in fashion. That's true. There's never been a time where someone was like, Tentacles, that's last year. So last year. I don't know what to take here, actually. Uh, this puts a counter on a creature, right? Put X1 on counters where X is the number of cards you've drawn. Actually, this is great for this deck, isn't it? This was specifically put in here for the, the draw seven deck. So for who? Who do you want me to take it for? Tell me their name. Name them. I do like a fairy mastermind. I do like, I kind of want to try this Oko. It's also drawing two is pretty good with uh, Echo of Eons. But then we're splat then we're going into the green here, you know. <laughs> Say my name. You're Heisenberg. That's goddamn right. Man, I keep meaning to start that again. As my new background show. It's either Oko or it's Fairy Mastermind. I'm the kind of person who wants to play an Oko. But I accept the Fairy Mastermind's probably the better card. So I took that guy. I apologize. Oh, Sail into the West? Oh, we could have taken the Oko and Sail into the West. Idiot. Oh, God. Anyway, we're taking Sail into the West. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's just take Garrick, I guess. I don't know what's going on here. Why do they keep putting Tarmogoyf in the cube? No, I don't know either. Buddy, you got me. I'll take I'll take Kinnon. Oh, Gruff's triplets came back. Would you look at that? All right, maybe we're green-blue. Maybe that Oko comes back. Can you imagine? I, dou I doubt it will. Come on. Come on. It says Oko in the name, and it's a new card, and people are probably excited to try it so it's never i wish i took the oko now i totally forgot like the discard one is actually beneficial to um echo of eons and i also figured it'd be red at the time not green but then sound of the west came so you know i should have known better i'm just not an orcish lumberjack fan you know
Sylvan Safekeeper, huh? Okay. Last pick, Oko. Oh, last pick, Treasure Cruise. That's interesting. I don't know if this is the deck for it, but... Also, Prof's Eidetic Memory. Um, also good with Oko. Man, I messed up. <sighs> what a fool I was. Okay, well, we got an Ancestral Recall, so... It's all good. It's all good. I'm about to bust. Yeah, let's take Ancestral. I hope Goldvein Hydra wheels. But I want to take the Ancestral Recall. He's a lumberjack and that's okay. He sleeps all night and he works. All wow, I haven't heard that song in so long. That's hilarious that you said that. Is it Birds of Paradise? Is it Vaultborn Tyrant? Because that guy, that guy slaps. Are all hats kindred deck is ruined? <laughs> oh, hashtag all hats. It's got to be birds, right? And maybe Tyrant comes back. Birds is just correct. It's got to be correct. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana. So that, actually that will, I can go turn one bird, turn two kinnon, and then birds taps for two. Yeah, boy. I like it. Okay. This pack is completely unexciting. If this was a noble hierarch, that'd be great. If this was any fetch land in green or blue, that would be great. I th Maybe it's Thundering Falls. We already have Copperline Gorge and it does let us keep open like through the breach and sneak attack. Oh, Lord. It's really unexciting to take like a third pick Thundering Falls, but it's a searchable land. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I wanted the red. Yeah, Teamer draw sevens? Sure, let's do it. Spell Pierce is bueno. But you know what else is bueno? Your mom? <laughs> got him. Oh, we got him. We got him, guys. We'll never recover. There's Taiga. There's a Tali. There's Tamio. This pack's actually pretty stacked. Paradise Druid. Cut me to the quick. I think quick is a funny word when used. Uh, it, it, I think that definition of quick is funny. Like even when we're cutting the dog's nails and you're like, oh, be careful with the quick. I'm like, why is it called that? Call it something else. That name has a, a meaning already. I think we're just taking Tamio. I think she's got a lot of upsides, you know? Pick a different word. Hmm. This could be great in our deck. Um, yeah, let's try Duelist. Let's try old Nathan Stoyer. Oh, a Misty Rainforest. You don't say. Don't mind if I do. Shurikai Genesis Engine and Library being in the pack this late is kind of comical to me, but... I'm going to take the, the search and land. Yeah, just call it the finger pip. <laughs> don't, don't call it that. Pick your poison seems good. I'll take a pick your poison. Fiery islet. We could take regrowth in case we open a time walk. You know, you always want to be, you always want to be thinking ahead. Yeah, I kind of like that better. I also think it's better with our plan. Like regrowthing a wheel of fortune to cast it again and kill your opponent is just it's just good. I don't I don't hate just having Karn. Karn is also very good with a mana vault. Let's take a Karn. I don't think we're I don't think we're a um Crater Hoof Behemoth deck. It's a late Stoneforge and a shockingly late Marsh Flats. I'll take the Marsh Flats. Just take Utopia Sprawl. Sure, we can we can work with that. Oh, Expressive Iteration. Mm. Take Ledgy Shredder. I want creatures for Prof's Eidetic Memory. A fetchingly late Marsh Flats. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'll take Yavimaya. All right. Yeah, that guy's fine. Okay. 
Time walk? Oh, there's no time walk. That's weird because I predicted it. I don't get it. Oh, we have Flash with Gruff's triplets. Can we get some more? Some more sweetie boys for the Gruff's triplets? There's also this ornery tumble wag. There's a turtle in this picture too. Look at that. Look, hidden turtle right there. He's blending in with the cactuses. I think Flash is strong and if Tumblewag comes back, maybe we got a little counter deck. Okay, there was no time walk in this pack either, which is kind of weird. I'm really actually starting to wonder if the game is even listening to me. Hmm. Show and tell for Emrakul's good. And that's all I have to say about that. I don't hate Seething Song. Smuggler's Surprise is actually pretty decent. Also for Emrakul and Gruff's Triplets. Yeah, let's take a Smuggler's Surprise. Again, it's a card I want to try out, so let's try it out, you know? Let's do it. Ooh, a Kozilek. Ah, another card that's good with Smuggler's Surprise, but not good with Flash. I think we're just taking Dak Faden here. Dak Faden's really good. You ever steal someone's artifact? Oh, a channel. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, now we're just taking channel because we have Emrakul. And it's possible that Kozilek might wheel. So that's a pretty that's a pretty easy pick, I think. Counterspell. Just a good old-fashioned double double blue, double green card back to back. Could take Phyrexian Flesh Gorger because it's good with both. Smuggler Surprise and uh, Channel. I wish it wasn't from among the milled cards, but maybe it's too strong if you can just get any creature in your graveyard. Mm, who knows? I kind of feel like it's got to be just Counterspell here. Phyrexian Metamorph. Or, yeah, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger might also just come back. Cruel ultimatoes. <laughs> That's what the kids are calling it these days. Um, Pick your poison can go in the side, Bizzle. Flash can also so far. Eh, regrowth can go there. You can go there. <sighs> I don't love Larcenist. I don't think we're a green Sun Zenith deck yet. F Reflexes is just very similar to Smuggler's Surprise. I don't think we have anything for Trinket Mage. We have Mana Vault, I guess. Green Sun Zenith might be okay, especially if we can hit like a Leovold. Okay. Oh, World Spine Worm with Flash. Dream Halls and World Spine in the same pack. What does Dream Halls do? Like pitch Fairy Mastermind to sail into the West. We don't have a payoff, unfortunately. Oh yeah, you should always be singing Cruel Ultimatum to the to the tune of Smooth Operator. Yeah, I think we're just taking World Spine Worm because it makes Flash just... It makes it just pop, you know? Breeding Pool is fantastic. Especially with Channel and Counterspell. Hmm. Yeah, we can just take Phantom Interference. Or Talisman of Curiosity. Hmm. I kind of like Talisman a little better here. Oh, none of these cards excite me much. Once upon a time, we have, this is 27 playables. Eh, we're not a Treasure Cruise deck. Not a Green Sun Zenith deck either. Just take Eternal Witness. Oh, wow. Corsair and Rafellos both came back. And we have Yavamaya. Jeez. I mean, I might just play Yavamaya Rafellos. Oh, my God. Is that better? Yeah, that's got to be the way to go, right? Treachery comes back? You people have no respect for anything. This guy can go on a grit in the sideboard. 
this deck looks interesting. We also have Kinnon to just start activating to hit like Gruff Triplets, World Spine, Emrakul. This is also 28 playables, which is a lot. Like, I'm almost wondering if we just cut the red. What do we have? We have Copperline and Thundering Falls, which is like three red sources. We also have Birds and Utopia Sprawl, which we can name red with. Unfortunately, the Kozilek did not come back, which makes Channel worse. But we still also have Karn. We could also just do Channel Green Sun, which hits like World Spine. And that's pretty much the only exciting thing it hits. This is 28 cards. Dak is just really good, especially with Hull Breacher. You just make them draw two, they draw none, you get two treasures, they discard two. It's really good. It also just steals things. Other than Channel, do we have a way to get Emrakul? Because we could just cut Channel Emrakul. And we have to add flashback anyway for both Gruff's Triplets and World Spine Worm. I mean, that's two cards. <laughs> womp womp. And we got both of the dig, the delve spells. We got both dig and treasure cruise. That's kind of funny. I don't know if Eternal Witness is worth it here. We already have Tamio. Again, if we had Time Walk or like even Time Warp, I would consider an Eternal Witness. But I just think having Wheel and Echo and Dak lets you discard Echo to like flash it back, which is pretty good. We have Duelist, Fairy, Ledger Shredder. We have a bunch of little guys here. Is this too cute? If you've drawn more than one card, put X 1-1 one, one counters where X is 1 minus the number of cards you've drawn, right? So basically anything extra from your, anything above your draw step and you're putting counters on guys. Which counts for Sale, it counts for DAC, plus 2, plus 2. It counts for Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty much it though. I can see cutting Duelist and the Eidetic Memory. That puts us at 24. Oh, we also had Smuggler's Surprise for, for Emrakul, I guess. Oh, man. Smuggler's Surprise, really? For three mana. So if you're just paying the one and the two spree, you mill four and then you can put up to two creatures or lands from among them into your hand. So I think most of the time you're going to draw two. That's a that's a three mana draw two instant. For five, you can put up to two creatures from your hand onto the battlefield, which I still think is a good value at the end of the turn because it's instant. But it's also it also just protects your guys, creatures you control with power four or greater gain hexproof and indestructible. So I don't know. Also, Kinnon is a way to put Emrakul into play. Shoot. All right, I think we do cut Duelist and Prof's Eidetic Memory. I think those are too cute for this deck. We don't have that that deck. This is actually shockingly difficult to build. I do like Emrakul because of Smuggler's Surprise, though. Sensei's top would have been better, right? Like you could, well, I guess not, because you're just looking at the same three, so you're always going to mill every card that you look at with top. <sighs> Maybe it's just Talisman? I do like Talisman because it ramps us from two to four. And we have three Planeswalkers. Or what about leaving S Karn, leaving something we like stuck in exile? Not really. I mean... Why would we be more worried about it in this deck than we are in any other deck? This is presumably a three. Like, this is our... 
this is kind of our end game that we're setting up, right? I mean, flash with either one of these on like turn two is just great. It might be Utopia Sprawl. Naming red just lets you play Dak on three. I don't think it's any of the ramp spells. I like Rafelos <laughs> with um, with Yavamaya. I think that's pretty sweet. Is it too cute? I don't know. Is Channel too cute with just Emrakul and Karn? Probably. Is it another two card combo with Emrakul to just to just win the game? Probably. Can we discard it with Dak if it sucks? Yeah. Okay, or Ledger Shredder's Connive. Okay, okay, I'm convincing myself. I need to cut cards, but I'm, I'm just gonna... Maybe we just cut Tamio. Okay, I can cut Tamio. I can do that. Fairy Mastermind, you can go too. I don't care about you. You don't do anything for our deck. You're just a good guy. Do I just play 41? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Great. We did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. And then one, two, three, four. Four red seems reasonable, especially with birds and Toby Sprawl. And we get one more. Hmm. I think we want one more green, actually, just because we have birds... Utopia Sprawl, Channel, and uh, Rafellos. Yeah, we want untapped greens on turn one. Okay, that'll do. Let's see how this monstrosity of a deck does. Okay. <sighs> this is where the magic happens. Oh, boy. Well, we'll keep it. It's not explosive, but it has all the things I want. There's tons of things we can draw here that make this very good. Two, two, two mana accelerants. Um, that guy's problematic. So now we're going to draw an artifact or a spell. Oh, we drew a land. Ooh, look at that. We're playing island here. Threaten that counter spell. I mean, flash is good. We have Gruff's triplets. Dak Faden would be great. Let them draw a card, steal their Esper Sentinel. That's what Father likes. Don't play that guy. Huh. That is a thing. Where's the Emrakul when you need it? It's not really worth channeling a Karn. Yeah, we'll just pass here. If we had another blue, we could channel Karn and then Echo of Eons. That's interesting. If we get a Hull Breacher, that'd be cool. Hull Breacher into blue source? Hmm. Yes. Look at us imagining all the, f the fictional situations that that will never come to pass. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of things they're doing here. Emrakul. Why isn't it an Emrakul? Okay, we'll just play Karn. You can draw. Make a guy to block? No, let's just go to six here. And if they want to just pump this guy and then attack. Ancestral and Treachery. <laughs> you gotta give me the treachery, right? Maybe? Yeah, okay.
This is exactly what Scofasco was was talking about. But then they're like spending their whole turn to pump figure. Now hear me out. <laughs> I mean, we got a treachery out of it, right? That's pretty good. Like, if they want to spend their turn pumping this guy for three mana and then attacking Karn for six, like, that's their turn. And if we hit a blue source, I actually think we're pretty good. We can treachery steal this. Oh, is that what they're going to do? Oh, wow, it is. Jeez. They're like, we can never give him the Ancestral. And, you know, they're right. That feels correct. But that's all you do, you know? Really, a tapped blue source, eh? <laughs> that's how you're going to be, huh? All right. Welp. Wheel of Fortune, what do you do? We could Treachery. We could Channel, Treachery. Untap five, have Channel good to go. I think we might just keep this on top. We go to 11, it's still a lot of mana to use. All right, let's see if this does anything. Comical that we drew more red sources than blue sources, but. So be it. Taken six. Tap out for something silly that we can just ignore. That's that's good. No. Oh wow. Uh, all right. Well. Channel. Draw your card. If they have a counter spell for this, then like we just. Okay. And then we can go. Red, blue, blue, tre treachery, this guy. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One red floating. Okay, we'll play a land. How much for the big smuggler surprise? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we go to four. Or we can play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can play this and then take one, which I think is better or we can keep counter spell up we can also just play echo of eons here There's a lot of things we can do here. Um, we could play Echo and go down to four, which gives us another full grip. I 
So we want five, six, seven, eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could go to four, play this, and keep Counterspell up. I do kind of like that. So these two... The problem is we have no creatures in hand, so like if they're not in the top three, or the top four, it just... It, it's a total whiff. <laughs> oh, boy. So I, I do think we go to four... And maybe Echo. That feels correct. We have seven mana on board. Oh no. Oh, Mystical Tutor. But that's gonna shuffle, it's gonna shuffle. You're not gonna draw it, you know? So that doesn't really do much. Now we know they have Path. But they don't, they're not gonna have Path. Um, hmm. This is unfortunate because we could cast this guy and then cast this, but then they choose, they're just going to choose not to, to do the thing. So, um, hmm. One on here, we'll say blue. We did play a land. I'm not sure I love this the situation we're in here. It might just be worth copying like a Danto Vanguard here. Or do we just, actually, can we activate this? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can. All right, let's just activate this. Did I play too much? I did. And now let's try to hit an Emrakul. We hit a Bird of Paradise. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that's a good news. Good. We block here, we take two, go to one. All right, we're dead. That's sad. Oh man, we try to do so many things. It's okay, we died. I mean, they both fly, right? It's basically the same thing. Tentacles, feathers, come on. What's the difference? Okay, I mean, if we can block here, take two, go to one, we can activate, oh, and then we die. Yeah, I guess we block here and here, and then we take one, go to two, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. And then we can untap this on a free turn. That's really what we wanna do. I'm kind of just surprised that they preordained. Okay, this is all fine. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four for this, then we have four left over five. This makes one, it's not gonna do it. Interesting. Well, you have to block here and you can block here. All right, we have one more hit off of Kinnon. Watch, we're gonna draw Emrakul, you ready? Okay, it was her fellow, so that's good. I'm gonna say no, we're gonna go to one. That's what we gotta do, right? I feel like we got a good chance. It's not a, it was not a chance at all, okay. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Next card, Gruff's Triplets. Three, four, five. We did put the Emrakul in the deck, right? We just looked at five, those one on the bottom. We looked at four more, those one on the bottom. So nine cards on the bottom are not it. One, two, three, four, five. Was it in the second hit? Nope. 
So nine cards on the bottom. The next three are the remaining three cards that are in our deck before we started putting things on the bottom. And there's Flash and Emrakul. Okay. <sighs> Let's bring an Arc Trail. That seems great against them. Their deck didn't seem that oppressive. I thought that was a good use of channel. Got a bunch of draw sevens, just never had the combinations we needed. Never had flash in a creature. Uh, Kinnon with double activations, looking at a, 10 cards and a draw in between. So 11 cards of our deck did not find anything. Cutting for this little this little arc trello, you know. Um, hello. People are saying that Titans from the Blind Eternities actually had feathers. <laughs> Is that right? Wow. The thing science finds out, man, you know? That's wild. God. Let's take out counterspell. I don't feel like we're a counterspell deck. Um Okay. What can we go get? Thundering, copper line, that's not a thing. Do we have a green red? I mean, I'll go get, I'll go get just a forest if I have to, but do we have commercial district? Is that what it's called? Let's go get it. Let's go get, let's go see what we can get. Thundering, breeding pool. Okay, we'll get a breeding pool. No. Oh, 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 howdy, my boo. Okay, let's do that. I was going to play a Kinnon, but now we're just going to play Flash. Well, that is a... Do they have Mana Tithe? Do you think they have Mana Tithe? Yield until the end step. Finding House is hard. I think we're doing quite well. Okay, how do we stack this? Pay four to leave the chosen creature. No. Okay. Thank you. When it dies, put a number of counters on each creature named Gruff's triplets. We want that on the bottom, right? So now we get two six sixes. Okay, great. That feels correct. I knew we weren't gonna hit a land, but that's okay, because this is really all you need instead of lands. Oh, Mean Mugger with the resub. With the gifted sub. Katie's stressing about finding a house, but I'm pretty sure we're doing quite well. We have like five viewings set up. One of the houses is literally holding the house until Saturday, even though they have someone already like approved and like ready to go. They were like, you know what? I'll hold it. I won't, I won't give it to anyone until Saturday. And we're going this weekend to like go look at stuff. So I think we're actually doing quite well. I think she's just stressed in general, but I feel like we started messaging people yesterday. So considering it's been literally like two days, I think if we can find a house within like four days, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I still have nothing to play here. Big stressy makes me mess. <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't say that. that. That's no good. Did that just win? No, I didn't win. Are you gonna fail? Put? Are you gonna path? Sure, I like a little path. Let's get a little. Let's get a little mountain as a treat. Okay, they're at two. All right. They did not crack their clue. I mean, metamorph copying Gruff's triplets is pretty good. <laughs> Okay, well, sometimes all you need flashes, flash and gruff's triplets is all you need. All you need is 
That is a channel, isn't it? Oh, we can Utopia Sprawl, make a red, and then either turn two Dak Faden or turn two channel, depending on what we what we need. That's fine. Our graveyard is not exciting. Let's say red. Come on, Emrakul. Right off the top. I love little treats. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. I love a little treat. As a treat, especially. Emrakul. Dang it. All right, so we'll just do this. Daiquiri Faden, is that you? I haven't seen you since high school. Eh, I'm just gonna plus here. I don't think we need to be exiled. We don't need to try to steal this like as a, as a goof, you know. We can pitch forest. I don't want to pitch the second island or the Yavamaya coast awkwardly. Maybe it's just, is it just sail into the west? Yeah, let's just pitch sail. When you have Dak, it's kind of like, it's kind of like your own private sail into the west, you know? I will choose forest. Oh, that's rude. It's okay. I got channel and a gruffer. You know, we're just going to hit Emrakul. That was a treachery. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's do one of these jobbies. Okay, not an Emrakul. Okay, so... If we play land, land, smuggler surprise. I think it's one of these two that we're keeping. We can pitch Gruffer. Cradle's, Cradle's nice because it lets us go. Um, well, let's just go green, green, untap, tread. Like, we want both of these, I think. So I, I think we can get rid of Gorge here, actually. Gorge, and we'll get rid of Worm. So why you do it then, baby Billy? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what a good quote. Okay, it's one of these two. Whichever one's better with Flash is, I think, the one we're keeping. Three five five. I think Gruff's triplets is actually better. It's two six sixes versus three five fives. But if you if you metamorph a triplet, it just gets really good. And that guy's just gonna get shuffled back in. Sure. The reason is we want double blue and double green. But if we play Yavamaya Coast, it makes us play Channel, and we can add the two green for this because we'll have four green lands. So this deck is actually <laughs> more complicated than I expected it to be. So let's play this guy and pass. Because next turn we can go channel with double green. Double blue, play treachery with channel. Steal something, untap four lands, use two green and the rest of this to channel. Or to, to uh, use two green and channel to activate like a couple modes on this guy and try to hit something. And we can Dak to try to put cards in our hand. But we're gonna have Gruff's triplets, so that's it's already halfway there. And we shuffled World Spine Worm back in. I 
Garrick Wildspeaker. Why you do it then, Gary? Well, I'll tell you. So, channel. Okay. Green, green, Gary. Kapow, kapow. Okay, untap these two. Treachery this guy. Kapow, kapow, kapow again. So many kapows. Maybe? Maybe not like that? Oh no! They're gonna path their own guy? Whoa! Okay. Well, we get a, a Utopia Sprawl, so that's good. Give me my, give me my Sprawl back. Put it on, choose a color. We'll say red again, and we'll put it on this guy. This, this guy. Oh, click it on this guy. And I guess we'll just activate, because we have channel, and if we hit, like, Emrakul, we're just gonna... Oh my god, we're one shy! <laughs> We're at 15, we can't Emrakul. Do we play a land this turn? We had to have, right? Oh my god. <sighs> Lordy. Well, I mean, we can still untap and just put Emrakul into play at instant speed, right? Like, that's still a thing. My god. That's so sad. I mean, whatever, we're a turn away. If they tap out for something, not this turn, but next turn, I like that. You got it. We also have two Planeswalkers on board. We're at 15. Like, we're not exposed it by any means. We have five mana. This costs six, though. Okay. So I guess we do have to hit a land. Oh, come on. We can steal the Esper Sentinel. That's pretty good. I mean, I still think I'm going to wait. I don't want to do it on our turn. I just think that's worse. So all we need is one more, one more land. Oh, sure. Oh, ho, ho. okie dokie. That seems quite good against them. Oh yeah, pay for that. Pay your tax. Okay. Okay, so just to be clear, it's five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not like fucking up my smuggler surprise, you know? Uh, no, it's always going to be Yavimaya Coast and Red. Uh, deals two and deals one. I want a land, and I wouldn't be surprised if they gave me one. Yeah, they're definitely giving me the land, which is great. Um, steal this guy. Yeah, this. I feel like we're doing fine. We could have actually stolen that, but like they could just tap it in response. So there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to smuggle or surprise there. 
and now we have infinite mana and two planeswalkers and an Esper Sentinel and a Beast Token, so I feel pretty okay. Okay. We didn't even get to Emrakul, but we, we got there. I'm tempted to take the, the counter spell out, I'll be honest. I think it's good enough to keep, but I don't know if it fits our deck. <gasps> Excuse me. We're halfway there. Oh, man, we don't have a blue source either. You see Flash, and then you're like, well, that's not going to do it. Um, This is a keeper. We have Misty into Utopia Sprawl, into Talisman, into Ancestral. Yeah, this is good. We can pitch Echo, but we can also pitch it with Dak Faden. One... Two, three. I, I do like Garrick. I'm going to pitch the Echo. Let's just go get... Uh, let's get regular... No, we want blue, right? Peg, sprawl. I mean, we're hoping that they just don't have, like, Wasteland. But I'd rather have all three colors on a land like this, so... Okay, green, this guy, ancestral land. That feels good. A little important. Draw your little card. I wish they had an artifact I could steal, you know? I guess I do need double blue for this, don't I? Or double green, right? And I guess I need... So it's like, win two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's correct. One, two... Ho ho! Okie dokie. <laughs> Seems good. All right. How come a tiny David Attenborough sometimes appears next to your head? That's a tiny Stan Lee. Not a David Attenborough. It's very weird that you picked David Attenborough of all people. And it's because he's like, the statue's like right behind me. I'll just go here. He's right there. A little Staniel. Oh, look, you can do it. See if I, if I move real quick, maybe? Oh, look. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> David Attenborough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, let's live that dream. Oh, 
yeah, come on. You've got it. So we can play this. We can actually play Mana Vault to untap this and then make a guy so we can block. Is that worth not losing our deck? Kind of feels like it. We could also just sail into the west here. Or we can do that during their end step. Yeah, I kind of like that. Because they have a lot of cards, like six cards. We have, we'll have one card once we cast the sail into the west, so. Yeah, Stanley's just watching over, you know? You got it. I'll allow it. Play something, play something stupid that no one cares about. Beautiful. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Let's do this now. What is it? Embark? If Embark gets more votes, each player may discard their hand and draw seven. Embark. Let's do it with this on the stack. I don't really want to take 14 here. Yes. Oh, Channel Emrakul. Isn't that great? I'll, I'll lose the mana. I think we have enough life to do it. We're going to take two from this. Uh, no. Fourteen. And then one from this. We got a 13. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. We take 10. We draw on our turn and we can untap Mana Vault. So, yeah, I think that's actually the exact amount of life. But then do we die? No, because Shoulder dies to... Yeah, this is actually... I think, I think we're like exact... This is really close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so close, dude. So so basically we attack next turn. We take two from drawing. We go to we go to one. We have to untap this. And then they lose their shieldred. Whew. That that'll do, pig. Man, shoulder, it's kind of a kind of a biscuit, you know. I think pick your poison might be better than like counterspell. I don't know, counterspell is really good though. I don't know. Pick your poison seems really good and really efficient. It's one mana, it does a lot. Problem is we only saw Retrofitter Foundry and they can just make a guy in response to Sacrifice so it's not super effective against artifacts that make tokens. We also saw no flying creatures and we saw no enchantments, so. Ooh, turn two, Rafelos. We also have a flash. This is actually, this hand's great. Flash hoping for those gruff triplets or world spine worms. Yep. 
you and our fellows here ramps us to like five mana. And if we hit another forest, that actually we can go Karn and Ledger Shredder on turn three. Or you have a Maya. Oh, we did hit a forest. Let's see if they want to kill this guy. Oh, come on. <laughs> How lucky. Um, I mean, I can just keep their thing tapped down, or we can just play Ledger Shredder. I kind of like keeping it tapped down. Like, if they have Shieldred here, I'd rather not give them the opportunity to play Shieldred. Like, if they want to just, it, like, if they want to let Rafelos resolve, and that's that's fine. Give me a turn with my Rafelos. Okay. A lot of lands we're hitting here. Do we think they have Spell Pierce? Probably. So maybe we play around that. And we'll play Rafelos. And Ledger Shredder. Rafelos is just Rashad and Port. <laughs> We're tapping Rashad and Port in a land to tap down their Caracas every turn, so. Yeah, I don't really want to run a Karn into a potential Spell Pierce. So. What is this, a forest? Mana Crypt? What's going on? Seven mana, huh? Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that's better than a forest. So, yeah, that's pretty good. We have treachery, though. So, you know, what are they keeping? I don't even know what's going on here. One, two, three. This is ten. Okay, so that's all of their cards. Jesus. I mean, they have Caracas if we steal, but, like, what are we going to do? Not steal it? Come on. They chose Shouldred, Sheldock, did they choose forest? No. Ponder? Yes. Narset? Yes. Shouldered? Yes. Verdant Catacomb? Um, Shaldock was the land. Genesis Engine? Yep. Temple Garden? Nope. Oko? No, because they took Narset. And they took Phantom Interference. So this is, they just threw six cards off that guy. That's pretty good. Huh. How much mana is this? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. This is like infinite mana. So one, two, flash. Yeah. Oh, smugglers surprise. Surprise, surprise. We'll pitch that. Uh choose a creature card. This one. No. So you put the counters on the bottom. So the question is, is Karn better than just keeping up mana? The thing is, none of these cards are really interact with the board. And if they want to just bounce this and recast it, that's kind of fine. I think we're just... We're definitely casting this, but I'm we can we can do both. Like one, two, three, four, five. So we have eight mana. I mean, I think we just keep channel up. Oh, 
Uh, discard and draw seven? Yeah, for sure. Did they do the same, I wonder? No. <laughs> well, we did hit channel. And that's the only thing we can cast. <laughs> that's unfortunate. We should have played the Karn, I guess. That is a bummer. Well, two blue sources will do it to you. But we did fill our hand, and this is not bad. We also have a Kinnon to keep act to activate probably like twice with a channel. They just played Knight's Whisper? We know six of the cards in your hand. That's very interesting. Now you're playing Ponder. Oh, this is actually great for us because we have so much junk in our hand. Uh, let's get rid of a forest. Man, I wish I had another blue, but here we are. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, even if they bounce this, they can't cast it on the same turn and they need the white mana. So then they take 12. Yeah, that was that was pretty good times. <laughs> oh lord. All right. Let's see if we can 2 1 this bad boy. Deck feels sweet, even if it's kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of got a bunch of different little packages. All right, well... Turn one Sprawl, turn two Shredder into Thundering Falls is pretty good. This is also great with, I mean, like if we hit Channel or if we hit Smugglers, surprise. I think this is fine. Oh, especially against the little green deck, you know? What up, little green deck? Let's say blue, because we want to be able to play Ledger Shredder next turn and play Thundering Falls. Unless we draw birds, then we can go Ledger Shredder birds, and then we can pitch a forest, and you know it's all it's all good at that point. It's all good. Oh, that's a real son of a biscuit. Nah, that I don't care about. Poof. Definitely don't want to play that when they have her fellows out. Huh. Honestly, I don't think this does anything. We can copy Rafellos. At what point can we play Emrakul when we have eight mana? Seven lands in play would be... <sighs> then again, I, I kind of just want to copy it because if they play something big, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep it because we have nothing else going on. That's why we kept, and that is why we kept Metamorph on top, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okie dokie. One, two, three, four. Yep. Cuckoo. I didn't even have to give up a, a no ignoble hierarch for it, you know? That's just good, that's just good value. Kill it, I dare you. Just kidding, I don't dare you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, delighted halfling. Did they not have land? Yeah, it's turn four. They missed the land drop, and I think they're missing another land drop here. I will block. No, no attacks. Echo of Eons. Schmecko of Schmeons, eh? Well, I think we just attack here. The thing is, if they have like a Rex Sage or something that kills this, then we have to triple block their 15-15 with our 5-5s, five and then they get 5-5s, five and we don't have any way to deal with that. I think we just attack with both here. This forces a block because then they go to one. And I'd rather have three five fives and them have three five fives. And then we're just safe from artifact removal. Yeah, that seems good. Fascinating. I mean, I'm kind of hoping they cast two spells so we can discard Echo and then cast it. What up, Hero, hero Pile? Sure. Oh, how lucky. How lucky you'd hit your third land on turn five, he said. Oh, little kitten. Does that do anything? Not really. I'm enjoying cubing so far, you know? I think it's a decent decent way to spend a, an afternoon, you know? I mean, next time we can activate Kinnon. Do I just keep attacking with Ledger Shredder? Probably, right? Maybe not. It blocks these guys quite well. 15 is kind of the sweet spot. Do I just attack with the three worms? Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. I doubt they're blocking with either of these. No, let's just pass here. Emrakul kills them at 15. I think we're more likely to have removal than they are. Old Woody. Okay. They put a little ranger class in the in the trash can. I don't like that they're they're using the Rufellos. Okay. Oh Lord. Oh, really? Wait, what? One, two, three, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Hmm. Uh, I've watched like the first three episodes of X-Men 97. I haven't kept up though. I've been meaning to. Don't get me wrong. It's not a matter of disinterest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can we can cast Bird and Echo 
and then stop this from ultimating, which I kind of like, because if this ultimates, we're just dead. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And we can also pitch Emrakul. Does that do anything? We give them an extra turn with seven cards, which is unfortunate. I don't think activating Kinnon does anything. I think they could have just won last turn if they ultimated this. Plus three, plus three, and trample, which would have been... This is what, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and this came into play tapped. So they would have had these to attack, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, plus 12, which would have been 29. No, I guess they don't win. But anyway, I have to knock that down two pegs or else we die. Yeah, it sucks giving them all the cards. Uh. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yep, and then we get the pitch, Emrakul. To connive. Hmm. Well, that is a lot of things. We're just kind of hoping we can win with this hand, though. <laughs> How? Nobody knows. They only have an 8-8 eight eight that's problematic, but we can double block that. Yeah, this actually doesn't seem terrible, but they do have eight cards, so maybe it's actually horrendous. Is this game one or two? I think it's game one because this is the game we copied their. Oh my God, look how big this, this gets bigger as it goes up. That's kind of funny. Look, it gets smaller as it goes. <laughs> what? I've never seen a scroll bar resize depending on where in the, in the thing you are. Also comical that we have Kinnon out and we got a World Spine Worm and an Emrakul. So like two of the cards we'd want to hit off this guy are just, just hanging out. Just give me channel off the top. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we get to, oh, we get to do this. This is great. Man, Ledger Shredder just like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I want to, I want to get this guy bigger, but I think pitching a land here is just correct. We do have Echo of Eons. We did have Echo of Eons, so that was definitely a worthy hit from Endurance. But then you also have Scavenging Goose. <laughs> okay, the double, the double graveyard threats. No attack again. Okay. Endurance does have reach, so we're kind of, Oh, that's exciting. What does that do? Hmm. Thank you. I mean, what we could have done is actually discard Emrakul to shuffle back in the Echo. That would have been interesting. Yeah, okay. Hedology actually said that same thing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm just, I was just thinking about it now, but I'm, I feel like it's better in hand because we want to hit channel. This is actually free because of Kinnon and like, so we can play this. Play Treachery, we get another look. Um, one, two. 
three, four, five. Steal this guy. Green is yeah, in abundance. Get another look. Yes! <laughs> ha ha! Pitch another forest. That's what father likes. That should do it, right? Channel. Um, let's double with this guy. This adds two, so I, I'm really like n have no incentive not to just. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get that extra turn. It's your boy. Or your girl. All right. Satisfying. Um, Arc Trail feels like it can come in. They definitely have a bunch of tiny little little dick faces, you know? Pick your poison also seems good. Um, again, for the same reason. I do kind of like Counterspell. This seems like a, a match where Counterspell is pretty good. We have yet to have a Hell Breacher with an Echo of Eons. We've cast Wheel of Fortune, Sail, Echo of Eons. <sighs> have yet to actually prevent them from drawing cards, though. Like, so far, like, our deck has Channel, Emrakul, Karn, let's say. Um, also, Channel's been very good by just by just casting the... Um, the colorless mana require, requirements and everything. We have these guys and Flash. We have Echo, Hull Breacher, Sail, and Wheel. Dak Faden's also good here because you can just make them draw two. They draw none. You get to you get treasures and then they have to discard two. Like we have a bunch of little little sweet little combo packets here. Oh, that's a sweet. Oh, we also have Smuggler Surprise for this pile. And this pile. It's kind of like a twofer. Um, time to take out Echo. I think Echo might be the most expensive and the least. How many ways do we have to pitch it? Just Is it just Dak Faden? Yeah, I think that's fine. He warmed up on a Wednesday. This is a turn two Ledger Shredder or an Arc Trail, and we do have Wheel of Fortune. I don't love this hand, but I will keep it because, you know, reasons. Yeah, see, I can just kill that thing. Oh, a Hull Breacher into a Wheel of Fortune. If we hit one land, that's what we're doing. I mean, if they play a one toughness creature, I'm probably just going to kill that. They did not, so. Oh. It is time for the Hull Breacher. Y'all better get busy breaching, if you know what I'm saying. Yield to the end step. No, don't do that. Because if they play something that draws them cards, I'm just going to play it soon. But I have a feeling they're probably just going to just have green mana. What can they do? What can you do? You don't want to play that guy? Like an arc trail. They didn't even attack. One, two, three. Is a breacher. Blue mana. Pizza time.
<laughs> oh, yes. Excellent. <laughs> it was, in fact, pizza time. Oh, I thought we were, I thought we lost our first round. I guess we 3 0 That's cool. I'll take a 3 0 Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you next time.